be working on these bar stools. They are in fairly decent condition. There are a few places that need just a touch of wood filler. So I'm gonna apply the wood filler, let it dry, sand it, and then I'm gonna primer it because I'm gonna use chalk paint, which is water-based paint, and you need to sand and prime wood filler before using a water-based paint. I've already used a wet vac on these seats and gotten the seats, the fabric, super nice and clean. That part is ready to go. So also another fun thing that I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to be painting this fabric with chalk paint. So in essence, I'm gonna make a wash and dye the fabric with chalk paint. And then I'm going to go ahead and metal leaf the bottoms, of course, because why not? It's going to look amazing once I'm done, I'm hoping. So um, let's see what happens.
things. First off, I love the color on these bar stools. That dusty pink got a little darker from the brown of the fabric and I love the way it came out. But the fabric actually turned out to be really rough. It would be very uncomfortable to sit on these. So what I ended up doing with this one is I took a coarse grit sandpaper and just lightly sanded the fabric and now it's nice and soft. I'll be demonstrating that on camera in just a moment with this one. And secondly, I miscalculated how much metal leaf I had of the colors that I already used. So I'm gonna have to alter my original idea. I'll be taking the rest of that metal leaf that I have and combining it with a slightly different tone of metal leaf and, and applying it on the outside portion of these bar stools.
applying the metal leaf and I think it looks beautiful. I think all of the colors blend really well and it's a really nice, delicate detail. So one thing about metal leaf, if you're using the real inexpensive stuff like I am, yes, it holds up, it looks beautiful, but when you're mixing it or, um, or when the sheets are tearing, this metal leaf can break down into kind of a glittery fine dust. So that's kind of smeared all over my piece. The way I'm gonna fix that is I'm going to wipe down as much of it as I can with a damp microfiber cloth. And then I'm going to go ahead and just paint the portions where the metal leaf got stuck. Sometimes metal leaf will just get stuck to things that you don't put any glue on and it's impossible to take off. It just doesn't want to come off. One solution is sanding it with very fine sandpaper. I'm not doing that with this. I'm just going to wipe off as much as I can and then repaint. I'm just going to repaint certain portions and then we'll add our wax and protect these pieces.
The bar stools are complete. I really enjoyed dyeing the fabric with Katja's furniture paint. I feel the brown undertones of the original fabric help to create a more aged feel to that dusty pink. There's a little bit of the original fabric that you can see here and there, which I also believe adds a nice aged finish. I actually am glad that I miscalculated how much metal leaf I had for this originally because it forced me to get creative. I love the way the metal leaf came out. It all blends together very well and this is just such a nice unique finish. So I'm glad I was forced to get creative. And the gilding wax, I do want to mention gilding wax dries, so I'm going to give this some time to cure. Gilding wax is not coming off right now. And so when you do sit on these stools, the paint will not be coming off because it's all protected. It'll have time to cure. What do you think? Have you ever dyed fabric with chalk paint? If so, what were your results? I know I'm going to be using chalk paint to dye more fabric on furniture in the future. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.